I've been uh, sent out here, obviously, and asked uh, to read you a poem instead. So, uh, following the theme, how dare you? <laughs> Poetry is the new rock and roll, my friend. <laughs> All I thought I'd do, with the, on the Eastern theme that we're following this evening, I'd read you the poem Ozymandias yeah. by the poet Percy Bysshe Shelley on two counts. One, it's, uh, it's based a thought to have been inspired by the fallen statue of King Ramesses II uh, at Thebes, near Luxor, in uh, Upper Egypt. Of course, in Lower Egypt, nothing ever went on. And secondly, it's quite short. <laughs> so what was that? <laughs> right, come on. All right, who is it? Come on, hand up. Who is it? Can you all just check that you've turned your phones on? <laughs> now, as I was saying, the poem Ozymandias, written by Percy Bysshe Shelley, uh, was written in conjunction with his friend, Horace Smith, who was also a poet, and they had a little sonnet off. It was a kind of rap battle uh, of the period. Um, <laughs> some sort of problem back there. Um, a rap battle of the period. Basically, um, Shelley's poem was in fact much better. Uh, it's the Horace Smith for a start. So, did you stop that? Try to work here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Okay, now. Good. So I present to you Ozymandias by Percy Bysshe Shelley. You don't hear that name real, do you? <clears throat> I met a traveller from an antique land. <laughs> who said to vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the <laughs> what are you doing could you please <coughs> poetry alright it's not people taking their clothes off because it is in the
battered legs stand. Whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that it's Scott to weld those passions red. <laughs>